I'm the one who showed you young niggas how to go through that shit, nigga. I went through that shit first. This the waters, nigga. I watched them niggas take my homie from me, nigga. And I ain't tell the people shit. I went through all that shit already, nigga. I don't fuck your own respect up, nigga. I keep having death dreams, but I don't know if I'm really gonna die. I keep having death dreams, but I don't know if niggas gonna slide. I keep having death dreams, and I don't even really know why. I keep having death dreams. If it happened, mama, don't cry, bitch. You been dirty, so I moved out. Now I'm in the streets too much. Damn, God forbid, but if it go left, I hope that shit eat her up. I, I don't want him around if it goes down. I don't know if he gon' bust. No problem. Ain't no half step in this shit. Niggas need deep love. I hate you. Before what? I ever let you niggas bring that trauma to chase, I'ma shoot uh -uh. your mom in her face. Show her how this grimy shit tastes. Niggas want the rams doing dumb shit, trying to get a name. That's a waste. Do you know your karma can skip you and smack your child in the face? Real I just life. watched Jar get buried. Damn. I was immune, but not ready. I'm cautious. Mama too early. I'm traumatized, but you scared. So we grew up way different. You ain't really with the street shit. You going through a phase, nigga. I made it through that stage, nigga. You still trying to find yourself. For real? And they following behind you. They don't know you blind yourself. They don't know. They don't know they taking your charge. You ain't doing time yourself. They don't know. Niggas run around with no money wearing these designer belts. Fuck. Need to redesign they self. Fuck. I wonder when bitches get pregnant and they all young with their friends. We know it's possible that one kid will put the other life to an end. Cause a lot of niggas do fuck shit, but they moms don't be knowing. Oh. So if one of my mom's friends son try me, he gonna die. I ain't going. I keep having death dreams, but I don't know if I'm really gonna die. I keep having death dreams, but I don't know if niggas gonna slide. I keep yeah, 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 man. That's oh so deaf dreams, man. When I was in cell, I used to have them deaf dreams, man. But you're now tuned into me, 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 uh, Owens Mixer uh, Barstool and four players teamed up with Owens To create the perfect transfusion mix That delivers a crisp, refreshing flavor combination Of real grape juice and ginger ale This might have started as a golf course drink But uh, we're making this drink The drink of the summer It's delicious and refreshing The Barstool transfusion is our favorite cocktail mixer of the summer Without a doubt, just add vodka. It's just that simple. You know, add a little vodka in the mixer. Bam! The perfect transfusion. Owens transfusion, Owens transfusion mix is made in the USA with real juice to create instantly delicious cocktails with perfect combinations all summer long. Available online at Owens' site or at the Barstool store. Or check it out at a store near you. So, man, make sure you go check out these Owen mixers. They make the best cocktails. We got, you know, we got them at the crib. Toot always drinking cocktails. Using new Amsterdam vodka as well. And, you know, her and her girlfriends be downstairs. Just cocktails drinking, cocktails drinking, and just doing them. So, shout out to Owen's mixers. Make sure y'all go get y'all one. If you into drinking cocktails and you don't know how to make them, it's very easy. Okay. Let's get into million dollars worth of game, right? Yeah. Let me talk to the youngins for a second, right? I want to tell the youngins about being great out here. I want to I want to tell all the youngins out here, right? Just do me a favor. And even 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 not 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 even if you're young or not, but just do me a favor. Look at Wallow, right? Don't be Wallow first 37 years of his life. Be Wallow last three. Be the latter half of Wallow. Wallow was young, immature, didn't know who he was. Wasn't really a follower, was a, was a leader. I was. He was a leader. He wasn't my leader, but you was a leader. But you listened to me. You followed me, but you was a leader right, to other niggas. So I whatever. give you that credit. But Douchebag. He made a few mistakes in his life, and that shit cost him the majority of his life in prison. So you got to understand your mistakes out here is at a minimum. 
But then he came home the last three years and he took the same exact energy. He the same exact nigga. He took the same exact energy and he channeled it in a positive way. And look at the man's glow. Look at his glow up. There's a lot of youngins out here, man, that can be great. And either you're going to take that road where you're going to fuck up and you're going to make that wrong decision and might have to pay for it for the rest of your life. You might you might lose your life. You might got to pay for it for a three to six or five to ten. And there's some youngins out here that's hopefully listening to this to say, you know what, it's time for me to be great right now. Mm -hmm. I ain't got time to waste. I feel what OG saying, man. You know what? My life is more than going to prison. My life is more than going to the graveyard. My life is more than losing all the niggas that's around me. So be the latter half of Wallow. <clears throat> Use him as an example because he the same nigga. Nothing ain't changed with him. The only thing that's changed is he channeled his energy in a positive way. And God blessed him for it. So to all the youngins out there, man, don't wait till it's too late to be great. I want to say something too. Go on top of that. Uh, I had the sister walk up to me and she said, damn, while it seemed like you only highlight and it's like you only talking to the to the kids that's doing wrong, or the young boys that's doing wrong, the young boys are shooting, and this, that, and the third. First of all, I'm talking to everybody. Uh, salute all the young brothers out there that's doing right. I'm always talking to everybody because just because you're doing right don't mean you had thoughts of doing something wrong or you might be impressionable and might mm -hmm. be at the thing. So I'm talking to everybody, sister. It's just that I got to talk even more to the young boys that's getting crazy because a lot of them, they looking for attention that they never had. That's why they do some of the things that they do. And a lot of them never had nobody to really talk to them or just say, man, I love you or give them a hug or just give them some game, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. that, and I, you know, I ain't trying to give you no package. I ain't trying to do nothing. To, I ain't trying to have you on no dummy mission. I'm just trying to give it to you so you don't have to take the route I took, you know what I mean? And I just try to be the old head that I wish I had when I was coming up. I had old heads, they gave me game on street shit. They ain't give me game on life shit. Mm -hmm. and, and it's like this. There's somebody out there right now, right? You a young boy, man, I'm talking to you. You questioning yourself, cause you act, you active and you know, you out here activated in street culture, but you know inside you really ain't built like this, but you don't wanna look like a sucker cause your homies around. Talk to him. Listen, man, you a sucker if you out here living a life that's a lie. You a sucker mm. if you out here activated in street culture knowing you ain't built for this shit, right? Mm -hmm. And I ain't saying anybody built, but you got some people that convinced themselves that they built for it until they wake up dead. Mm. Or they wake up in prison, or they- So you saying they wake up like this? Yeah, you know what I mean. They say that in the hood, wake up dead. I guess you wake up- uh, You don't going. wake up. You wake up somewhere right. else. You wake up yeah. not here. Well, you wake up like you God. Know, you know, speaking on that- Is that I, you, I God? Had that, uh, yes, it is. Hold up, Come man. on in. How I get here? You got caught slipping. They popped you in your biscuit. They put <laughs> butter and jelly on your shit. You come on in though, you want to be a killer. I want to go back, it's too late. I'm not going to go ahead. <laughs> yeah, man, that lifestyle. Man, I was just doing a training uh, Sunday morning, right? Mm -hmm. I, I sent out a text message to everybody that signed up. I get a response back from a family member that said uh, that the young man got murdered in some gang related activity in a drive-by, right? And it's like, damn, the reality of how fast life happened with, with some of these young guys that's you know, thinking that shit cool or, is, it, you know, whatever. They they normalize that behavior or whatever, but they really losing their life over senseless shit. Right. So it can just be so quick and to think like somebody that's in the community that's trying to like, you know, get that game can have it happen just, just overnight. Like I found Wallow like a year and a half ago. And I remember when I, I, was, in, I was just coming out of jail myself. Mm -hmm. And that, and that positivity, right? You, you get that energy like, God damn, he up in the middle of the fucking rain talking to the people, man. Mm -hmm. And I ain't never even tell you this when I met you, you know what I mean? But but that we need more of that. Like, 
because it's necessary because a lot of people think whatever they're going through in that moment is going to be what has to be their final destination. Mm -hmm. you you're not what, what you, you're not, but basically Tony said, number one, you're not what you're going through. And before we go to another, I just want to say this to the mom, that young boy that I was just talking to. You ain't a sucker because you say, man, this ain't for me. Ain't nothing wrong with saying, you know what? Move, selling some dope or running around with this gun on me. I ain't trying to die, I ain't trying to go to jail because if a lot of dudes, like, if you ain't got like a five to 10 or a 10 to 20 sentence in you that you know you could do, that you ready for, this ain't even for you, man. You ain't ready to die. Like, and it's cool to say, listen, you know what? I ain't built for this. Tell them that again. I'm, it's cool to say I ain't built for this because, or even though you know, man, I'ma tell. That means this ain't for you, man. Like a lot of you dudes don't, it, it, you, it's, it's pressure that you under, so you don't wanna say, man, I ain't built for this. But it's cool to say I ain't built for this and walk away and go and square up. Ain't nothing wrong with being the L7, man, the square, man. And I'm gonna keep it all the way, bro. You called me from jail when you told me that. Straight up, man. You said, cuz, man, get out the streets, man. These niggas ain't, they ain't, they not cut like that, cuz. No, you wasn't in the street. You was just thinking a little you said, briefer. Said, you said, you wasn't really you in the said, streets like that. Is, I'm telling you, cuz, it's cool to, it's, it's hip to be square. I did say that. I said it, no, on some real shit. No you heard some shot. shit you heard from an old head up the yeah, block. He to told square. you you tried to run it's it on me. But I remember square. you, I remember you said news. that, though. But no, I'm just saying, like, we'd sit back and we'd just be on some shit. Like, listen, man, we took on the uniform of the street culture because it was cool and we normalized that shit in the ghetto. And that's what all the chicks like. That's what everybody like. And that's the only people that get attention. But that dude that got that nine to five, that dude that's a, Except the driver, that dude that's the security guard, that right there, that dude, listen man, I salute all you dudes that's working every day, and y'all brave enough to say, you know what? My life is bigger than me being a street nigga because I'm gonna live my life for my kids and my family, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna do some man shit, I'm gonna really man up. Mm -hmm. A lot of people talk about manning up, but they can't do it. And if you're going, and, and, and if you're going to do it, just go, just go cold turkey, man. You can't play both sides of the fence. Mm -hmm. You can't be, a, you know, I'm, I'm gonna be active in the street coach and I'm gonna try to be a square. You can't do like that, you can catch you up like that. Mm -hmm. But for those, again, like I'm gonna say, it's cool to say this ain't for me. Mm -hmm. Let me get into a sponsor as we, before we go further, man. This next sponsor is for a lot of you cats. Some of you young boys might even need this. I know dudes like Gil like need the Roman swipes. One thing about these Roman swipes is, they straight to the point. I'm talking about they are clinically proven, uh, clinically proven, right? I'm talking about you will last longer in bed, right? Mm -hmm. I know Effective, you, you, I know easy you to use. Hold it. up, easy to use, fi fast acting, and don't require a prescription. These are joints, and they fit in your wallet. They real discreet. These are joints Gilly be having, like when he ready to toot, he be like, swipe. Cause listen, all you gotta do is swipe it real quick. Pull up, pull up. She be like, oh damn, oh, excuse me, baby, could you grab that? Pull up, pull it out, swipe it. Some people that uh white girl, she told me she asked me to make sure I get a case of these joints for her people, but that's another story. I, she put it, I ain't mean to put your business out there, white girl. And you said he just can't last long. He ain't strong, he can't last long. You understand? And you, and you think about not holding on. But that's another story. One thing about these Roman swipes, man, listen, man, all you gotta do is swipe, let it dry, and you're good to go. You're good to go like a pro. I'm telling you, you're gonna be like a pro. They, after, after you swipe on, let it dry, and you get up in there, they're gonna say you're a star. You're gonna be on the big, I'm talking about you're gonna be in a big screen after this. In her mind, she was like, oh my God, I had a real, he was a tackler like Tony, he tackled me. You see what I'm saying? Because you swiped on, whoop, up, whoop, up, swipe, bang, whoop, up, swipe, let it dry, get busy. I'm talking about go all the way in. Swipe, let it dry, and get busy, man. One thing about this, I need you to do, go to getroman.com slash backs, well, yeah, that's not the back, slash millions. And you could get your first month of swipes for just five dollars when you choose a month plan mm -hmm. that's get roman.com backslash million get strong last long so she can hold on get roman.com backslash millions hey let me ask you a question slash i guess Backslash is the other way i meant slash million. oh slash millions okay yeah. slash. get roman.com slash millions yeah i'll be getting it mixed up Top five fat rappers of all time. First of all, Biggie, Biggie. number one. Biggie. Biggie, number one. Big pun. Heavy D, big pun, Fat Joe. Damn, Eight play. ball, Damn. eight ball, eight ball. Uh, Rick Ross. Ross. The boss. Uh, who else? Could you say Gucci? Gucci was fat. He was fat. Gucci it's was fat fun. at one time. Oh, Gucci, yeah. <laughs> was, oh. Was, was Big Boy fat? I don't want to disrespect nobody. Oh, no. CeeLo. 
CeeLo, yeah. Uh, damn. CeeLo was chubby. Was Ice Cube fat? CeeLo was fat. No. No. Fuck no. Damn. Ice Cube was chubby. You sure Ice Cube was I got Biggie number one. Biggie's definitely number one. Where Big Pun at? The new guy that's out that sings the song. Biggie, Big Pun. Listen, Biggie, Big Pun, Rick Ross. Rick Ross. What about, you got Heavy D? Heavy a legend. Fat Joe. Fat Joe. Mm Mm-hmm. That's four. So who we agreeing on first? First is Biggie. Biggie, First is Biggie is definitely number one. And then Pun. Then Big Pun. Bun? Oh, no. Big Pun before Ross? No. I got Ross, number two. I don't know because I feel like I like skinny Ross too. I'm giving pun right at the beginning. Ross still considered fat. I mean, it's pun. No, I like. Uh, uh. You can't put Ross in front of pun. You can't do that. Damn, you're right. I'm trying to think of Some big shit rap. you just can't do that. You can't do nah. that. It's big pun. Yeah. Fat Boys was the first rappers, but we can't. They ain't not in the top five. Mm-mm. <laughs> he always got to bring up Shout out to Fat Boys. <laughs> okay, we going. Hey, we going. We going. Rap. Biggie Smalls. Big pun. Rick Ross. Fat Joe. Fat Joe. Heavy D. Honorary mention. He's dead. He can't make the fucking list. He's dead. Yeah, yeah. Come on. But is we going to put Heavy D in front of 8-Ball MJG? No. I mean 8-Ball. We can't put him in front of Yo, him. some of these brothers is gone. So we just well, gonna, I like 8-Ball We got to salute Heavy. Heavy salute is a legend. Heavy, D. heavy mm-hmm. was fly. You know he what was. I mean? He was. Money earning Mount Vernon. He was. he was fly. He was. He was out there. He he had real confidence. Right. Like Biggie probably got his confidence from Heavy. Right. Right. And, and Biggie and Biggie, I'm gonna keep it all the way real. Biggie made fat niggas. Shit. He exactly. took them niggas to a different yeah. level. Because yeah, they was whacking. Yeah. yeah fat. I mean, fat niggas was at an all time high when Biggie's talked that shit. That's, fat that's, and black and ugly. However, I stay country down to the, the socks. socks. Mix and rocks filled with rocks. rocks. In my jam, knocks in, in your mission, Bishi. Girl, see yeah. me when they Navajos creep me in the TP. As I lay down laws like, like Alan Coppin. Stop, stop it. it. If, if you, you think you're gonna make a profit, profit. don't see my ones, don't see my guns. Get, Get it. it. Now tell your friends, Papa, Papa hit it. it. Then split it in two. As I roll with the junior mafia, I don't know what the hell's stopping you. I'm clocking you. Versace shades watching you. Once again, Ooh, I'm in, in game, game begin. begin. Yeah. Then we talk about how we dress and sit in diamond necklaces, stretch Lexuses, the sex is just the oh, back. Oh, what about yeah, sauce on the back? back? I get deeper. And deeper, help you read. Yeah, Biggie. Yeah. What about, what about that sauce you're money? Me. No, sauce money is not in there. Sauce so money. I'd have gave Biggie some coochie if he was still So it's either Heavy D or Big ass Charlie Baltimore. It's either Heavy D. It's either Heavy D. Is even heavy. Oh, you ain't got to do Charlie, all that. Yeah, she is. He like he ain't like, got to she do be all that. Damn, Charlie Baltimore. <laughs> Tony, like that she could be my that Charlie. Funny now, come on. Shout out to Charlie, Charlie Baltimore. Charlie Baltimore is beautiful. I don't see the resemblance though. We just that light. Like, y'all right. just pile us light skinned bitches up together. That's cool. You look like a bootleg, Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> you look like your name Harley. <laughs> Harley Charlie. Charlie Maryland. Yeah, you Harley Baltimore. <laughs> just, Lay off. I'm just like, Harley Maryland. <laughs> At least she cute. She, you look like him. No, he look like me. <laughs> fuck is you talking about? That's what I'm I talking used to. to he I used to like get you. that nigga baths. Fuck is you talking about? Did you used to watch yeah. him up? Yeah, I used to watch him. Get your little ass in the tub. First, first person that took advantage of my innocence. Fuck. First person took advantage of your innocence. No pussy put a smell over there. Don't. Now I'm that's gonna call them people, but you. I did change candy. your pipe. I, I, like, hey, I, I ain't gonna lie though. I ain't gonna lie though. I did. I did change. He give me candy. I did change his spare one time and held his little legs and then you know you hold the both legs and shut the fuck up. You beat his ass. You don't want bitch ass nigga. That's what I told you. I said, you some nut ass nigga. You ain't <laughs> tell me that. <laughs> Had your whole legs in there. You taking them. You told him you was a nut ass nigga as a baby. You a nut ass nigga. You a nut ass nigga. You gonna grow up to be a nut ass nigga. <laughs> I was telling the truth. No, Gil was a, Gil was a, listen. You know a lot of these <laughs> dudes out here. I just want to say something. And, and, and you know a lot of these dudes, like Gil's a child snitch. What? When they were scared, they, mom, he done this. No, he was that type of, he was a child snitch. <laughs> fuck out of here, pussy. I'm I putting it out there, he was a child snitch. Yeah, pussy, I ain't no child snitch. Stop fucking lying on me. Yeah, you, yeah, you just be I only told on you one time, pussy. Who ate all the goddamn hot dogs? Who drank all the Kool-Aid? I only told daddy on you one time. Milo drank all the Kool-Aid. Yeah. Boy, get your ass. I only told daddy on you one time, he fucking lying, man. Hey, let me, let, listen, right? Let's talk about, look, like, you come home from prison, right? I see you all the time. You bumping the motherfuckers. Damn, that, I, look, 
Every time. How we Nanny. speak Nanny up? Nanny. Nanny. Yeah. I'm recording right now, Nanny. I'm going to call you when I get That's to the That's the boss. Right. Nanny called me. I got to answer that shit. And let, let me say. Um, Damn, how you speak Nanny? That's and let, let me say rest in peace to Michio, man. Yeah. And rest in peace to uncle, man. Yeah, um, yeah, he by. Yeah, I'm saying. A week ago. Yeah, a week ago. Yeah, one of the uncle, one of our uncles passed away. So rest in peace to uncle. Mm-hmm. But um, like you, I see we be out. You know, you see a bunch of people who you you, you always say I was in jail with him. I was in jail with him. I was in jail with him. Yeah, I was in jail with him. I was in jail. Like that shit is like nonstop. I do right? say that a lot. And so from you being doing 20 years now, being out on the streets, like. Mm-hmm. Like not in numbers, but what's the percentages from people that you seen come back to people that you see out on the streets, like that's doing something that like, you know, that's came home that's really doing something out here trying to make a way, trying to change their life. You feel what I'm saying? Because it's always a stigma on a motherfucker when he go to jail that you you ain't shit. Mm-hmm. Uh, that nigga was locked up. He, he, you feel what I'm saying? But it actually be a lot of the motherfuckers we bump into, they actually be out here doing shit. Yeah, man. Yo, what's up with you, man? So you doing your thing low? Yeah, man, I'm out here doing construction, man. I be doing, you yeah, know, 28 an hour, man. I'm just, niggas really be doing yeah, shit. Yeah, everybody we run into. And it's like, uh, society wants you to believe it. Like, a lot of times you don't get a second chance when you go to jail. And the reason I'm saying you don't get a second chance because sometimes when you got that felony or whatever on your jacket, People judge you for that even after you did your physical time, even if you did your probation or parole. So sometimes it's like you in jail forever and people don't never give you the benefit of the doubt because you fucked up in life at once. But I will say this, Gil, Gil said that to me one time. I'll never forget, we st- he's like, yo, it seemed like, hey, why you see that you was in jail, what they doing good? Like, I ain't even gonna hold you. I rarely see people out here that's fucking up. And you know, a lot of people say people go back, whatever. Even when I was in jail, I ain't see a lot, a lot of people came back versus who was going home. You got a lot of great individuals that just committed crimes. And uh, you got people out here that say, oh, how you gonna have great if you committed the crime? It's all levels of crime, but if you say you believe in the justice system and you believe in the whole American you know, structure, you also gotta believe in rehabilitation. That motherfucker can change. And you can't just be holding somebody accountable about, oh man, you was at the jail before, how you this, that, and the third. It's like, fuck, I did my time, but you you making me do my time again? Right. But your judgment, your ju- you, ju- you trying to have me, like I'm, I never done the time. I never did my time for the crime I done. Mm-hmm. You know, and some crimes is heinous, and I understand people is never gonna let, let it go. But it's like, when somebody do their time, it's like, damn, give them a shot. You know, and because I, I done ran into a lot of dudes that, put some plans down in prison and they came right out here and materialized it like they didn't even had a felony on their jacket. Like that shit ain't gonna stop me. Don't let labels define you, hinder you, get in your way of you materializing mm-hmm. your dream. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck if you was on, a, if you was using drugs. I don't give a fuck if you was in prison. I don't give a fuck if you was homeless. I don't give a fuck what goes on. Don't never let a situation that you've been through in your life define you for the rest of your life. Right. Mm-hmm. I mean, live through the moment, get through it and bounce back. And do your thing. Everything is possible. If you can see it, you can be it. You know, it's real. That's right. I love that, man. Hey, you, you just spoke my whole story, you know? Mm-hmm. Shit, two, two and a half years ago in jail, and now I'm a millionaire, so it's crazy. You right. know, you can change your life. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. A real millionaire, because everybody be running around here talking, you really a millionaire on paper. Yeah. Real yeah. millionaire. Yeah. Like Lamborghini paid for, huh? Cash. <laughs> That's like me, like. Last year, I ain't had nothing. Now I'm here. Million dollars worth of game. I caught the bus here. <laughs> you fucking what? liar. I caught the bus. He's a I fucking Uber. liar. He go half on my Ubers. Get the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, and let me tell you something. At least I'm going half with you. Yeah. You you done, you done got meals with niggas. They ain't go half with you. You done fed a nigga. Mm. Whole meal, nigga ain't gonna have. You done bought nigga sneaks, ain't go half with you. I mm. bought you crab cakes. I bought crab cakes up here. Them crab cakes, legendary. I'm taking some <laughs> hey, 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 shout out to the motherfucker eats by Dre. Eats by too. Dre, fellas. you know what that I mean. Great. Real talk, cause yeah, he, good. he came, he came, you know, and he had the whole the crab spread. cake burgers, the baby, the baby crab cake burgers. 
Man, them bitches was popping too. They was popping. They was pop locking. Man. Tony ate four of them bitches. Tony went in, dipped yeah. them in, in the sauce, that gangster <laughs> sauce. What was Smothered it? them in the that gangster, that that gangster sauce. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck is the gangster song? It shoots your tongue up. It shoots your tongue up. What? Not on duty, huh? It's not spicy. <laughs> Shoot your tongue up. I'm sorry. What the fuck? So, so you saying the percentages of the people that you seen come back to the people that you seen on the streets that's doing good? Would you? It's hard for me to think, but I, you, you with me all the time, and you see every time we run into somebody, like they be like, like, damn, baby, what's going on, man? Right. Listen, man, I work in the union. Oh, damn, man, I'm the supervisor here. Oh, damn, man, yeah, I got this property. I'm doing real estate. Mm -hmm. I got my own construction. We ain't run into, we might have ran into, out of 100 people, we might run into one or two that was that was clocking, that was sitting on the corner pumping. Mm -hmm. Like it was 88. <laughs> like a couple, and then when they do see me, they be like, wow, man, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get it together, baby. I'm just running. <laughs> Straight up, he always be like, <laughs> We coming out of the store, man. I listen. I'm like, man, I ain't judging you, bro. You gonna get it when everybody alarm clock come on different times. Right. So you'll get it, man. But just be safe. You know what I mean. And remember the stuff. Reconnect with them. Reconnect with them ideas you had when you was in prison. They be like, all right. Absolutely. So uh, you want to speak on any of that? Yeah. Um. I want to say that I want this nigga to pay the whole Uber, not half. Right. What's that? Fuck yeah. He lost. And let me ask y'all a question. What's the top ten athletes of all time? No sport. And you know, no sport at all included. Jordan. You know, I think Jordan's the number one athlete of all time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Top ten athletes of all time. Hold on for one second. She's so pretty. Hey, dude, I'm recording, babe. Can I call you right back? Uh, yeah, I'm recording, babe. Can I call you right back? You too. Hmm? All right. Uh, Deion Sanders. Deion Sanders. I think prime, prime, prime time. I think I think Deion Sanders. One of the first of all, he had the whole thing. He backed his play up. His he had a. He had a mouthpiece and he backed it up with the play on the field, baseball field, football field. Only thing I gotta say is that uh, when I was coming up playing sports, me and him played the same position in the country. They like everybody was at this. He had a Jerry Curl, I had a Jerry Curl. He had a bunch of chains on, like Mr. T. I was, you know, it was like I'm gonna just say he stole some shit from me, but that's another story. A couple of my, you know, it was it, it was deep though. It was deep. The fuck out of here. What it hey, was? That fruity, that when he was at Florida. I was hey, going to Penn State. All right. Hey, don't don't forget your boy uh, Shaq the Diesel. Can't forget Shaq. Shit. Can't forget Diesel. Shaq in the top ten. Hey, you damn right, the Diesel, bro. Top ten. Yeah, you gotta put Shaq. Shaq was the most dominant Mayweather. player. No, hold. Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali. Shaq. Boxing. Mayweather's hold on, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. So we Tiger got Woods. Mike. Hold on, we got Mike. We definitely got, definitely got Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods. Yep. We got Mayweather. Muhammad Ali. That's three. Got to throw Mayweather you in there. Got to put Mayweather in there because May. The reason why you got to throw Mayweather in there. Because Mayweather changed the whole the dynamic side. of mm. the business side. Not because he fought the 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 best opposition at the best time, because he absolutely did not. Mm -mm. He fought an old ass Oscar De La Hoya. Mm -hmm. Old Pacquiao. A, a old Pacquiao. A old, you okay, you But he won, like he won though. He won though. No, 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 no. We're not taking a, nothing away from him winning. You should have seen feel, when I was. You feel what I'm saying? All I'm saying I was is, go to Olympics, he didn't. He didn't oh, fight those up. guys in their prime, sports. like Muhammad <laughs> Ali for Joe Frazier. But he definitely is one of the greatest. He is the greatest defensive fighter of all. I ain't about sport, but no, nobody's Hawkins ever done it jail. like that, without a doubt. Me and Bernard was sparring. Real calculated, very boring, but very calculated, no, very boring though. But you got to put him in there because he changed. First of all, he went undefeated, and he changed the whole state of the boxing business like this dude has made 200 million dollars in crazy 36 minutes you can wipe his ass with hundreds easy you feel what i'm saying so so <laughs> we got so wipes. so come on man we got we got jordan we got we got Deion sanders we got tiger woods lebron we got muhammad ali and we Mayo. got mayweather LeBron. we got lebron Shaq. Shaquille O'Neal, mm -hmm. because Shaquille O'Neal was the most dominant player to Bro, ever they, play they a had sport. To file, they had to file Shaq just right. to They had to go game, hack bro. a Shaq yeah, just they, to change the game. Like he right. literally he it's was, a, it's a people. Him, bro. I think tennis hard, because I, I want to ask about two people, Kobe. Yep. Then I want to ask yep. about, I ain't going to fight. I, I want to ask Kobe about. is in the top 10 athletes what, of all what time. About, what about, hold on, let me ask you oh. something. Hold we going to be pissed that day. Somebody, you know Big U. He know how to piss him off. I'm going to say this. You know, you know, you know you and Big U arguing about this shit. I'm going to say this. But I'm going to say this though. I'm going to say this. Is what's the name going on there? I'm just asking you. 
Because of all these rings, Tom Brady? Tom Brady. Is he going in there? Tom Brady been Brady, a yeah, Brady, Tom, Brady, Tom Brady's Brady's a been a nine fucking Super Bowls, Brady's bro. A goat. Brady's a goat for sure. Brady's a goat. That's eight. We got two. Kobe more. Bryant is in that list. Whoa, <laughs> Kobe, Kobe Bryant, Bryant has to be in there. Like I'm outvoted. Kobe Bryant. You know, I, I, who else? How many more? That we got, more. we got one more. We got one more. We ain't put no track athletes in there. Usain Bolt. Yeah, Bolt. Usain oh, Bolt. Oh, yup. It gotta yeah. be him. Fastest nigga no, alive. No, 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 no. Hold on. Wait. Hold what on. about Bo wait, wait, wait. Michael hold Phelps? On. Hold the fuck. Woman up. boxer. Top ten athletes all time. Hold on. Let's get this right. Hold on. One more time. <laughs> one more Good. time. Right. Michael Jordan. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Prime. Deion Sanders. Right. <clears throat> Shaq. I don't know about Shaq on the list. I don't know. I don't think Shaq should be on the What? Than Shaq was the most dominant. We don't have no fucking room Shaquille for Shaquille O'Neal, right? Let's go. Michael Phelps. I'm tripping. How many gold medals Michael got? A whole a lot. lot. Clarissa Shields. Hell yeah. Um, yeah. We got to throw her in there. I'm, I'm tripping. What? Who could, shield is the greatest. She'll knock you the fuck she, out. That's she, what she, she is. She'll she, beat the yeah. fucking. Tell me, how she'll you beat your beat fucking me? dark skin in this joint. That's okay. who Call a bitch up. Oh, here. we'll set it up. Call she's, a bitch oh, up. Oh, my girlfriend here. Call a bitch but up. She'll beat both of the. Call her up here. We got it. First my money's on us. Okay, let me just say this. She'll beat Gil up. I know she'll beat the fuck out of it. She'll whoop you up your ass. Oh, so she can't. Don't put that shit on me. So you can beat you and Tony. I want to fight you. I slip that shit. Can she beat the Baltimore bomber? No, she'll. Look, she'll no, whoop, no. she'll whoop, she'll whoop, shit out of here. She'll whoop, shit out of here. Wallow had to jump in there. Street listen, fighting is different. Listen, when she knock you the fuck out and how fast she gonna knock you the fuck out, your girlfriend gonna run. Oh, no, <laughs> ain't no way. She gonna I, run. My money's on us. Let me tell you something. When you say, come on, bitch. By the time you say that, you sleep. <laughs> listen, if you throw that shit. I'm about to fight Come on, bitch. Take the earrings She hit me with a little body shot. Like I ain't know like what happened to me. I'm telling you, you don't want to do this. Shit. <laughs> don't tell me what the fuck I, I want to do. I ain't fucking with her. I ain't, I ain't doing that shit. That shit. Bop, bop. You going to fall. Fuck my whole name that about it. bitch knows something. <laughs> I'm out of here. Your girlfriend said, right there, that bitch know something. That bitch just did a little joint to the we left. Was up. <laughs> you remember and we was up back with it. She came up the middle one, and Demona went to fuck to sleep, and I ran. <laughs> I ran till she left, and I went back and woke Demona to fuck she up. She gave me, she fuck gave me, listen, me man. You remember we was up, me. we was up Sway Show. She gave me a little body, a little fender work. <laughs> Gave me an invitation to the bathroom. I was in there. Up there. <laughs> what? <laughs> I said, damn, what the fuck is he doing? Real talk, she yeah. got, and she won two gold medals, and she got all the belts. She a legend. Like, she's a fucking legend. Shout out to Clarissa not, Shields, man. Shout out to you, Clarissa. And put Kobe in there. You uh -huh. know, I wasn't really, no, I, I don't lie, I wasn't no Kobe fan. Just because Kobe passed, I'm not going to You was AI fan. You'll put you'll throw I, AI in there. Fuck around. You thought AI in there before Jordan. I love Alan. Shout out to AI, man, my brother. Uh, you fuck, shout out to shit. Bubba fucking Chuck. Bubba Chuck! We ain't had Bubba. too many football in there, though. VA! We, you know what I mean? We still we never get lists done because it's always a. Uh, because y'all motherfuckers can't agree on nothing, man. It's you. You feel what I'm saying? Like, that, that'd be the motherfucking problem. Y'all can't agree on nothing. Let's you. get to the uh, my next spot. So, man. Amsterdam. New Amsterdam Vodka, right? New Amsterdam Vodka is um pretty much the best vodka on the market right now. It's the official vodka for Barstool Sports. It was born from an uncompromising passion for great vodka. This commitment to excellence enabled New Amsterdam to produce vodka of superb taste and unparalleled smoothness. New Amsterdam is a premium 80 proof vodka made from some of the finest quality grains from America's heartland. It's it's uh, five times distilled from a parallels for unparalleled smoothness. It's filtered three times for that clean, crisp, smooth, enjoyable taste. You know, you could drink New Amsterdam with anything straight up on the rocks, juice, soda, or you can make the famous New Amsterdam New Amsterdam Mule. It's up to you. Tootie uses it for cocktails, and she uses the Owen mixer as well. Tootie be sauced up. I remember we yeah, said Chicago, uh -huh. her, her neighborhood. They was they was feeling it. Yeah, they, they was like they feeling, was feeling it. it. They was. I'm gonna keep it all the way real. If y'all wasn't in that Uber with us, 
that motherfucking that, we that, had that, to, we the said truck. the same thing if y'all would have been a scene yeah it would have been a murder scene we said that the joint. same thing i'd have told that driver listen homie it was cold as shit in it chicago was cold as a hooker's heart out that motherfucker <laughs> you hear me yeah. it was nigga i want to go to chicago no yeah we're gonna take you you just gotta act right you hear me? let me ask you a question right yeah I ain't even gonna ask you. No, ask, ask it. it, nigga. Leave your truth. Do that. I don't want to put your business out. It's cool. Leave your truth. Put it out. Put it out. Leave your truths, man. Oh, no, I ain't gonna do it's that. It's a million dollars worth of game. Don't don't be scared. Leave your truths. I live my truths. Anything you want to know about me, cause I'm I'm an open book. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, I ain't gonna ask you. Ask me. <laughs> no, it's cool. Why you scared? I ain't scared. Then he gonna punch on you? No, I'm you know, I used to. So yeah, he might have flashbacks and shit when he was young. I used to beat him the fuck up. You know, when you older, you always bully a motherfucker. I used to beat him the fuck up. So you never won one fight? I'm telling this dude, right? No, I ain't even gonna talk about it. It was about time when he got a massage down Atlanta, and I ain't, it's a, little, it's a long story. It was just a little spice involved. I, I'm mm. not gonna tell you what Massage from a man in Atlanta? Uh, it was a little in between, but listen, no, no, no. It's a deep story, but no uh, judgment but I, here, I wanna ask him, Gil, I'm telling Gil, Gil whole thing is about black black people being racist, right? Yeah. And why do you say that? First of all, you gotta have a structure. It is deep. It, it gets deep for you to be able to put that that infrastructure together in order right. to be but you you want some I else. asked him. I said, Can are black people racist to other black people? Mm -hmm. Black people can't be racist. Yeah. Cause every yeah. nigga I know soon as they got some money they said i'm getting away from these niggas <laughs> i think that's more for that ain't about racism that's about safety purposes right because because when you start you, people is thinking more on the safety procedure you, you know how people are thinking like damn i'm around here motherfuckers on but that's not a part of that it don't have nothing it's not i'm asking i'm not saying it is i'm saying it do a part of that have to do with being slightly racist racist on what time what did you talk about right i don't huh? yeah Okay, prime example. Oh, so you saying it's a safety thing? Because if once you get a certain amount a of money, of you're not safe in the ghetto. So okay, so you saying me living around niggas, I'm not safe. No, I'm not no. saying that. Okay, let me just say something. If a if a Asian person said that, I can't live around niggas, I'm not safe. That would be considered some racist shit. Y'all sitting here saying, how is it racist? Let an Asian person say right now and it come out on social media, I can't live around no niggas. It ain't safe. So you saying that's, that's basically what you say. That's how black it's a people safety think. thing. You can't live around niggas they when you get money. So. You no, no. What I'm saying is people think about that's that's people's first thought. I want to live in a safer environment. I want to live in a better environment for my children because right now this environment. Okay, could I want to live in a safer environment that's not around black people. That's not somewhat racist. <laughs> yeah. I'm asking y'all. Hmm. I'm getting this money. I'm moving around, motherfucking <laughs> multicolored motherfuckers. I ain't living. That's not so what. It's one thing if you move out the ghetto and then you never revisit. No, how is it? Oh my fucking god! So if you lived in the ghetto, you supposed to revisit I the love ghetto? That he no, yes, fuck if, no. When I make it big, I'ma still come back and sit on the steps with y'all. Why? What you mean? Because I'm for a hating ass motherfucker blew your brains out. You'll be out there. The they got Mona. and she out there all day. <laughs> They done smoked them on. <laughs> I died right on the steps. They know yeah, it's man. true. Like no, a black I'm sitting on the steps. Well, let me tell you like something. a black mouth. When I Smoking come back, black. when I come back in the hood, you feel me? When I'm chilling, I'm giving back to the community. So you don't slide through other than that. Uh, Demona, anything I could do in don't a say my name like that. the fucking hood, I could do in a in a in, a, in a, at my fucking in a in a in a in an environment that's. We we Control, chilling. Yeah. Oh, I smoke weed. Oh, I'ma go smoke weed in the hood. No, nigga, come holler at me. I'm here. We out the way. You the f niggas that grow up in the hood. The objective is to get the fuck out the hood. Not oh, I get money to go back in the hood and fake stunt on some. How niggas many people you think that, feel like that? that? I've had the debate a thousand times. People always say like. If I, you know, when I do, let's manifest speaking it. I, yeah, speaking of this, this is when I do make it to the next level. I feel like I am going to still come to pop out. I'm going to pop out. And guess what? I'm at the block party. They I'm, be I'm full there. of shit. I don't give they, a fuck. You know what? That's like motherfuckers when they say, when I get a, if I ever had a million dollars, I'd never go broke. 
You never had a million dollars, man. <laughs> you don't know what the fuck you'll do. So you think I wouldn't? Then, then, the, then you get that million dollars. Guess what you do? You oh, buy before that, you, you get buy it. Is it really car. not safe no, to sit on the steps in your no, neighborhood? Listen, it's really not safe all, to do that. First of all, if you make it big, you make it rich. It's not safe to go sit first, on the steps. When you get that million dollars, it turn into they turn into seven hundred thousand at the taxes hit you. <laughs> True, nigga. First of all, and, <laughs> and, 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 and so many motherfuckers who say that if I ever had a million dollars, I'd never go broke again. I, them niggas would be broke as a motherfucking. Yeah, the first one, they'd be popped like a stolen fucking car out here, man. So. Why you gotta look at me when we talk about broke? So is I'm is, the only broke one on this couch. So I'm, I'm asking y'all, why everybody so don't want to speak up? So is is, is black people is. racist towards black people? Black people can't be racist. Mona, the politician. I'm asking. Listen, it's coming. You Mona said X. yeah. Why you say that? I say yeah because it talk. is, man. You know what it is. What man. did you do? It's for man, you I went got, to not you. I, you went to a black college. I went to a black college and I got the fuck out. You know? What you mean? You got a whole. Got this nigga done out. told me. He said, "Dog, I got the fuck out." He said, "Dog, I went to all black college, and those was the most dangerous four years of my fucking life." Really? No, you didn't. Yes, he did. Not no I mean, HBCU. Why, you so, that right, nigga said, you "I went to an all black college, and the only four years of my life what I had to carry a fucking pistol." Oh yeah, my god! Yeah, so you know how it is. Like you, like the the local niggas, you know, was always coming on campus. You know. Busting in niggas' crib. I mean, Where'd little you go? dorms. And all. I went to Winston Salem State. Okay. So, so as far as the atmosphere, as far as college, dope HBCU experience. But like I told Gil, like as a father, I told him I was like, bro, I wouldn't want my kid to have to go back to like when you when you that when you sucks. grow out of that shit. Like when you leave, we they made me move from down south. I mean, down south to get the fuck out of Philly. So when I get down south, now I'm back in the same shit that we moved away from. Like the whole idea is to get your kids in the position to be in a better posi position than you were, right? So, so when I look at it and I tell people about the experience, sometimes you do get that that dark side of of like, you know, us being around the black culture where we like, yo, we just can't do shit without trying to hurt each other. We, you know, that's where the patience we, yeah, part comes yeah, in. Yeah, like we we really speak on you spoke on we, we, really, we really be yeah. we really be you know we racist to a certain extent. We know we be like, yo, let's get away from the niggas. Like it's so many people that say that. Like I gotta move away. I gotta go move in the white neighborhood. It's said off. It's frequently right, but but people don't want to really. Be when I about when it. I bought my first house, I aimed for a house a, a neighborhood that was mixed. I don't feel comfortable being the only black person. I don't trust those motherfuckers. I said it. I'd rather live in a mixed community. I understand not want to live in urban areas because the school district sucks. It's violent. Blah blah blah. But I'm not aiming to get away from black people. No no no, not me. No, I didn't say nah. the aim was to get away from black nah. people. Okay. I said, motherfuckers, everybody I know, as soon as they got some money, they said, I'm getting away from these and you niggas. you right, you right. Oh, okay, That's don't act like, like the fuck you didn't say it too. Who? You. When I said it. You said, I'm aiming for a mixed community. I'm yes, getting away. I, you fuck wrong with you. Fuck wrong. You trying to, 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 that's racist shit. Like you, you, you know, it was a white boy walking down the street. Would you, would you lock your door or move to the other side? That's fucking terrible. No, that's, come on, that's, let's that's, be for real. Yo, that's that's the reality of what happened. Yeah. You, you just be for real. It's done. It's done. Been. It's done. Been plenty motherfucking times. I done came to fuck out the club. <laughs> The fuck is them niggas standing by my fucking car? Was dumbass. No, the fuck they wasn't. But I was just making sure they could attempt it. I can't say what a nigga can attempt and what a nigga can't attempt. But why the fuck is they standing by my car? Yeah, I'm saying. <laughs> what the, fuck is, the fuck is they doing over there? Like, oh, you know, know why? You a little motherfucker hesitant to walk up on your shit. And if it was a group of white guys, it'd be like, yeah. "Excuse me, buddy." Well, yeah, absolutely. What's up, Jim? How you doing, Bob? <laughs> toot toot toot. Excuse me, this is my whip. <laughs> <laughs> Them niggas over there ain't saying nothing, just chilling like this. Niggas ain't even talking. Your motherfucking car right there. You like them niggas ain't even talking to each other. Why are they chilling right there? <laughs> like, oh no, you think I'm gonna walk into the, uh, the, the, the uh, that's heavy. You think I'm gonna slip on motherfucking, uh, no, I'm not. Uh uh. Yo, I'm over here. <laughs> yeah, I see you niggas. Say, don't act like niggas don't come out the club and be like that. Let's keep it real. So, if it was some white motherfucker standing by your car, what you doing? 
Excuse me, Jim. And, <laughs> you guys must be inebriated. This is my vehicle. <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> She's a fucking fraud. <laughs> She's a fucking She's an inebriate. <laughs> she is a fraud. Don't be mad I can speak white. Hey, have you ever tried a pass for white? Say what? What would the white girl? How would the white girl talk? I don't the know. White girl I'm not a white no, girl. you just did it. I can't speak Caucasian. Please, how, how you, do you heard speak it? it? You heard oh. it. How you speaking? We want hear they, they still know I'm black. If you seen us standing in your car, us three black guys, what you gonna say in the Caucasian? And you, <laughs> if I, I seen you three niggas in my car, see, whoa, look at here. This. Sorry, guys, you must be lost. This is my car. That's it. That Regular. was a bootleg white voice. Yeah, that was not really white. I can't do it. I can't do that a was, whole white that girl. That was b -b 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 whack. That mm. wasn't b -b -b white. That's why the names <laughs> don't call me white girl. I'm not a white girl. I can't speak properly. I hate that we do that. We call that speaking white. No, we really not saying just speaking well white. No, it's, no it, it, yeah. it, ain't, it ain't saying speaking white. It's the way you, the way you, you know. Tried to deliver it. Yeah, the delivery. Like you was a Caucasian Buddies. person. And you're not. Hey, guys. Hey, listen, let's, let me give y'all a million dollars worth of game, right? To all you motherfuckers out there in these miserable ass relationships, man, <laughs> where you wake up every day to see your partner breathing <laughs> and you like, damn, bitch, God ain't take you yet. <laughs> or you like, damn, nigga, God ain't take you yet. Just leave, man. Stop putting that fucking stress on your heart, man. Y'all don't even like no y'all don't even like each other no more, man. Motherfuckers stay in relationships cause they feel like they just be scared to start over, man. Somebody out there that's compatible for you, man. You feel what I'm saying? All you gotta do is go out there and there's somebody out there that's compatible for you, man. Motherfuckers be in these miserable relate and the reason why, because I had a I got a I got a homie and we talking. And he was like, man, I hate this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I heard him say it. And he did fucking serious. But a couple hours went by, he like, all right, dog, I'm about to go to the crib. <laughs> I was there. You rushing home to get to a bitch you hate, man. <laughs> a lot of these women be going home on Tuesday, hate too. Yeah. A lot of I these. I got going there with this nigga. I did it. Right. Girl, I'm talking to you later. I got going there with this nigga. I hate right. this motherfucker. Yeah, right. I don't know. He think I'm cooking right. him a piece of steak tonight. That motherfucker got me wrong. He better ate before he ass got home. Because <laughs> I'm going to tell you one thing. I'm tired of his shit. Girl, why don't you just leave him? No, that nigga paying all the bills. I ain't leaving that motherfucker. Uh -oh. uh, I that's, not like that. that's not no, why. That's not why. Women, well, have, well, women okay. have a lot of hope. Women have women have a lot of hope. There's not none of these bitches out here that have lost all the hope. They ain't them bitches. They ain't even got the mother. I think they, people don't know when to draw the line. Like when is enough is enough because you don't want to be a quitter. And then it's like, is it that to leave? A quitter? And How then, you quit on a on a and nigga? Then the biggest thing is the fear. Like you said, people really think it's nobody out there when really it's plenty of dick in the sea. Girl, leave. Get on Instagram, child. Thirst trap. <laughs> they will DM you, girl. You always promoting uh thirst trap. Yeah, that shit works. And people be. Like I know women. So you say, so you take niggas off of Instagram on the thirst no, track. No, no. Like why it always gotta be me? But you advertise this okay. because I'm giving I them seen a her price. All the little girls I out seen there. Her I go live thirst all the time and I connect Sell people together person. and then they start talking all the time. What? People meet each other on social media. I seen media. your filthy DM. Uh -huh. <laughs> Dudes being her damn It's a lot crazy. of niggas out Nigga here. There's a lot of women out here. Nigga said he want to slap you on the ass, give you the real red bottom. Yep. Don't stay in a relationship thinking there's nobody out here. It's niggas out here. Like, they out here. It's summer, bitch. Leave them. You single? Not today. <laughs> she just, man, you see every week, every other day, I'm single on Tuesday. I get dumped every Monday. Wednesday. What's today? Wednesday? We good. You drive a dude crazy it's that after quick? after the weekend. I usually get dumped on Monday. Weekends be rough. The weekends be crib. rough. <laughs> Why you get dumped? Listen, this ain't interview. Don't call me white girl. Let's no, but go. why you get dumb? I get dumb from brother a reason. All right, hold on. What type of dude is you looking for? Explain your guy. He's out there. Mr. Wonderful is out well, there. Who is Mr. Wonderful? Who is he? I, I like, I'm very under. I need you to be patient. Because I'm going to put you through a little something. See, okay? see that's a oh, problem. You too geez. old to be putting niggas be, through shit. <laughs> too old. That's your you. fucking problem. You too fucking old Here to be putting go. niggas through Here shit. Here you go. Listen, I. You got to get your fucking shit together. I am, I'm going to put you through something. How the fuck you know you're you going to put a nigga like through this. something before you meet him? Start off. That's Mr. 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 Wonderful. It's How the fun. fuck you going through? You just hey, warned the nigga. You ever ride a roller coaster, feel like you're going to die, and then you enjoyed it, but you ain't die? Shit, I rode one and I said me. I ain't never getting on one again. I almost That's pissed me. myself. Yeah, like, you motherfuckers stand in line scared. for hours to ride roller coasters. 
So you, so I'm you, worth it. I'm a good person. Well, why you get dumped day Monday? Listen, shit be happening. It's not my fault. We get it together by Tuesday. Let's move on. Cooking ain't making baked beans and hot dogs right. with dude. You I don't make no baked beans and oh, hot dogs. I just I make oxtail, up. cabbage, and rice and beans. Oh, y'all here? You got a lot of boys that's trying to eat a platter. I cook. <laughs> I cook. First of all, I'm submissive, you know? Okay, so you play the roles? I mean, I'm submissive. Like, I'll be quiet and shit. What that you mean? You don't have to be to, submissive these days of time. You don't have to be submissive. I no. think men need that. Men like when you play retarded. You no, like, you know, the light went out, baby, the light went out, damn, the light went out, damn. You all have to do is change the light bulb. Damn, baby. I couldn't even figure that out. You so smart, babe. Girl, you know, <laughs> yes. I know how to fix the light bulb. Niggas dumb like that. They like that. Damn. So write it down, bitch. You what else they like? Look at him now, it's clicking. Cause Tootie just hyped this nigga up for fixing the garbage <laughs> disposal. Look, no, look, there's one fucking button. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. It ain't nothing but one button. And see, he went for it. He's just oh, yeah. No, 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 no. See, that's when you got me fucked up. Here he go. No, no, no. Here he come. Here he come. I can't what ever I, get one. You know what I do in the house? Nothing. Pay fucking bills. That's it. You, you don't think fix I got it? kids and I'm putting trash out? You think I got kids and I'm changing the garbage? Do you fix it? Fix it. <laughs> he paid people I to prep this piece. I over his I prepped this piece because Tootie fell asleep the last night and I had to prep the piece. You had to, to slide prep the right piece? In. Pre prep that motherfucker slid right in from the back. It was gonna be there we Ew. go. Use the KY jelly that we bought while on. Ew! Shut Yo, up! Oh, man, you ain't buy me no kids. Tell this, please. Shut you heard up. That. She, remember she bought you, you the KY jelly. We did get you the penis pump took and everything. That. How did you enjoy the penis you pump? You took for that for your penis When you I went to Miami, it. how did you enjoy the penis pump? I ain't take the fucking penis pump. You did yeah, take the pump. Why are you lying, Wallo? You fucking lying on me. Wallo, you got right to that door and said, don't forget my pump. I gave that shit to Pop. Pop had the You told me April fuck with the April You got right to that door and said, Gil, grab the pump. You gave that nigga you. Use penis Gil, pump. grab the pump grab for you. I never gave that nigga a line. Penis pump. 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 Pump. Absolutely. And then and then Pop used it. God damn. Then he, he used it, then gave it to Pop. Pop ain't used that. Pop don't need it. How you know? Look, here he go. Here he go. Why can't be confident in yep. my guy? That's Pop's my later. dog. Pop's Why I can't be confident That's in my guy? She twinkly. Niggas watching. that size usually got big meat. I know the way it go. <laughs> you we package fuck, watcher. Pop, tell these people I package see watcher. That's Shoo my dog. I hope all my niggas got big dick. Damn, she be watching I'm rude Pop. for all y'all. Damn. Pop, pop, it's like, no Poppy matter Pop. what they say about y'all, I'm rude Poppy for Pop. He had that pump. Yo, it was wild. This he ain't pop, it ain't Brian yeah, Pumper. It's Poppy Pumper. 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 Fist pump. This Poppy, Poppy Pumper. Poppy the Pumper. Poppy Pumper, Brian's Pumper. cousin. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> but y'all both use the same joint. That's crazy, though. That's fucked no, up. No, we ain't use no fucking up. same joint. Poppy Pumper. Brian Pumper's cousin. Introducing. Who fuck white girl on the low? And Introduce me. Yeah, he's black. He plays the shit. She ain't bragging about. Somebody. How you Let brag about a dick you never here. seen? He got a big That's my dog. <laughs> he's a smaller guy. Small never... guys usually be all meat. Unless you have small, tiny hands. Who? Oh, she pulled your hands. First of all, do me a favor. Fuck, you talk about. I, I, listen, listen. First of Whoa, all. Whoa, look listen. how tiny my hands are. <laughs> oh, I'll figure your hands. Oh, you Let's got... say, wow, yeah. Gil. Yeah, first of, all, I could, first of all, I could pop a basketball. I bet you neither one of these niggas could pop oh, a basketball. Get the basketball over there. Oh, all right. Oh, all right. Look, 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 we ain't got to get into that shit. <laughs> look at it. We ain't got to get into that shit. Look at it. Fuck you saying. You the ball? What? All right, on, Tony. Okay. Do you realize if I slap <laughs> Tony, Tony? Do you realize if I was to slap Joe Buttons, it would be his whole face? Oh my god! <laughs> like, do you realize? Rob, you better yeah. not slap hey, that, that nigga. Was sweating though, bro. No, no, I'm just, uh, no, Don't I'm just be. playing. Non violent, non violent. Yeah, none of that. What the fuck is y'all talk about? You, the basketball right there, though. We can see if you can pound a basketball, Tony. You're bluffing, nigga. Just your get it. Get the ball. Nigga. Get the ball. Fuck wrong with a nigga. Look, got little thumbs. How you gonna pound a basketball with little thumbs? You want to put a wager on it? No, hold Come on, back. sit down, Tony. My turn. Sit down, Tony. What you talking about, bro? How tall are you? Yeah, who you fucking with? Let me with, try. Bro? How tall are you? Why How can't you try? Are you? Yeah, why you jumping back, man? Give it the wild Yeah, yeah, yeah. low. What you talking about? They never let the girls this play. Show, man. No, this joint is slippery. Yeah. My head. <laughs> My head. <stop. laughs> hold on, this joint is slippery. You 6'1", too. Yeah, nigga. How tall are you, Tony? The pack. 
Six one. Six one. Yeah. Let me see. No, this joint slippery. My hands a little wet. Your hands wet. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 Get, wet. Wet. Oh, get the fuck out of here. Let me try. Hey, tell she. Oh, if you pop that jaw, something's up. <laughs> he <laughs> said, if you can pop that jaw. If she pop that jaw, she a nigga. <laughs> I did it. Look at her hands. Look at her hands. She's like it's nuts. Look at her. She's so used to having nuts in her head. She's like, but I did it. I did it. She's like, but I did it. He talk Man. all that shit. Can't so, talk about basketball. Pommy. Pommy. What are you talking about? Baby. Oh, look at that nigga. No, no. Captain, nigga. Them soft ass motherfucking hands. That nigga hands soft as shit. Why are you falling, bro? Hold it out. Hold it, hold it out. out. Hold it yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, hold it out. Hold it out. No, no. Hey. Go here, Wallow. My hands. <laughs> yeah, look at him. That's how you used to grip his cell in the ass. Your ball ain't regulation, Wallow. Weak it ain't ass regulation. fingers over there, man. Get the fuck out of here, though. That's how you used to grip his cell in the ass. Get the fuck out of here. Hey, but hold on. You fucking lying, lying on me. Bro. You lying on me. No, 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 no. Put that bitch out there. Like, like, yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. Hold straight out, bro. That's not palming. Put the ball straight out. Put it out there. Pull it back. Pull it back. Damn. Look at you. So you see, I did it. Game over. What's wrong with you? you yeah. see, no, barely. No, it's cool, Tom. It's cool. It's barely. What's wrong with you, man? Stories from the cell. Wallow I didn't want to put this hands. out there, right? I remember one time I got banned from the Smut Association of the prison. <laughs> when I first got in the joint, I shot on some pages, right? And, you did uh, what? I was, I was squeezing off, and I got a little outside of myself, page. and I hit the page. That's like a major violation. You got <laughs> come on the magazine. Yeah, listen. Listen. My, my 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 homie old head had let him see the book. He was like, "Go ahead, man." He said, "You can check the joint out, make sure shit come back right." I'm like, "I'm like at the cell. I'm like, yo, all right, OG, I got you. I'm gonna respect your joint." But this this smut book was so crazy, right? It was called the, it was a black video <laughs> illustrated. It was so crazy. I'm shaking the dice. I'm from here. I'm like, oh, you something else, girl. You talk to me like that. Where you been at? Uh, oh, you get interactive like that. Oh, I don't play no games. We have a conversation. You Do you say her name like Mona? No, I, I give her a name that I want to name. Oh, it. okay. So it depends on how I'm feeling. One day I might be feeling good for Rashida. Next day her name might be Kiki. It's different type of vibes. So I'm shaking the dice. Shoot. I'm from here. Uh, six. Six. <laughs> oh, seven. <laughs> ah, nine. So next year, you know, I split. I'm like, damn. I Because I, I was caught trying to pull back, but I couldn't. He's gross. Because I was an amateur in the smut porn, porn book game. You so I didn't know. So when I get it, I'm like, oh, shit. So I had to take, I had to take the tissue. And try to pull it off. I'm pulling, I'm pulling the babies oh, off the joint, shit. right? I'm like, this nigga gonna kill me because it was an old. He was a triple OG. This nigga, listen, this, this nigga, this nigga wore crazy. t-shirt wave caps, nigga. This nigga wasn't no joke. He wore two shirt t-shirt wave caps and he walked around the jail <laughs> with a weight belt on all the time. Oh it's old. So listen, Tom. I'm pulling the shit off, right? I'm like, damn. So as I get it off, you still see like some wet joints. So I'm like, I'm gonna lay this joint near the window so it could blow and try to be cool, right? And I'm like, damn. So it's, it, it, it like bubbled the page. It wasn't, it was never right. So I tried to pass, yo man, this joint was cool. I mean, this and that third. Old head man, he told his man, you tell that motherfucker he cut off, man. <laughs> <laughs> and, listen, listen, listen. and ever since then, he used to grin on me. And I used to like, damn, I ain't with no trouble with The nigga wore a weight belt and a motherfucking t-shirt wave cap. Oh man. You know, the, I'm talking about the wave caps that you make, they be making them joints out of t-shirts and all man. that shit. That shit was, that joint was like brown. It was regularly a white shirt, but this, so that means this dude had some time in. He wasn't playing no games. You could see the fucking grease coming through his jaw. He had them big ass, he had them big waves, some old school, a foul heartbeat waves type motherfucker. Like, <laughs> and he fucked my name up. Listen, he fucked my name up because it was another old head that I knew that knew my step pop. He was like, he was like, yeah, I might got something for you. And then I seen the boy talking to him. And he ain't never give me a fucking smut book. Five heartbeat yeah, waves. You never man book. But hold on, you niggas getting... shake the dice, pick the book up, semen all on y'all hands. No, I don't usually be like that. And, and then hand that shit right off. The, what if a nigga ain't even wash his hands good? And then you y'all hand that shit right off. The then they dap nigga each other up. Y'all niggas, niggas passing chlamydia all around the jail and shit. Motherfuckers, I hear fucking chicks raw. What the fuck are you talking about? Niggas in there fucking niggas raw. <laughs> no, whoa, whoa, I don't know nothing about that. That's the whole thing. What the fuck you talking about? Plot twist. He don't even act like he don't know about that. He huh? know. They said they heard some screaming coming out your cell one night. <laughs> no. And they said it wasn't he lied big, over. He keep dropping smut on my name. They said it wasn't Big Teddy. That's all I'm saying. They take said, the smut off my name. They said it wasn't Big Teddy. I'm just telling you if what you they said. If you went gay in jail, check that's new, your business. Check out the new take. Get that smut off my name. Listen, t- don't put that smut on my name. Check out the t-shirt, man. You see it right here pop up on the screen. Take it out. Hit in the link below. You know how to go. All right. Don't put that smut on my name. Hey, get that at where? Barstool Sports. Yeah, get that. Make sure y'all pick that T-shirt up. Hey, listen, man. Each and every Sunday, make sure y'all go check out that Rona proof at three o'clock. Rony, if That's you want the Rona, get with Rony. Come, yeah. Tony, the Rony. Every Sunday, three o'clock. Ten step strategy. Ronaproof.com.
Yep. Let's Break down it. what you do. We're going into uh, wholesale and real estate. So he tackle you into the real estate game. <laughs> he's, he's take over the damn. He like to, he like to be sweaty. Oh, I'm sweaty. I'm a, I'm a football player. I like to wrestle <laughs> men when I'm sweaty. Ooh, wow. Let's <laughs> wrestle. That's, that's wrestle. I'm a football player with a helmet on and a jock strap. I want to tackle you down while I'm sweating. Tony the tackle. You doing some weird ass shit in jail, huh, bro? Yeah, saying, no, I wasn't doing that. I ain't play sports in jail. He was in you, with a you, helmet. You was a linebacker on. in jail, bro? <laughs> Fuck no. Oh yeah, I was a linebacker <laughs> at the town, bro. No, they got linebackers. You back he had a helmet the on in jail, line. niggas. I don't want you. Shout out to all the linebackers in jail. Back the chow line. That means you put the food on the chow line when it run out. She 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 know what the linebackers. You play football. I never home, worked bro. the kitchen. I did. I was you, a kitchen. You was on warrior. the bench or you started? I hate, it was very depressing working in the kitchen. Was you on the bench or did you start, bro? Okay. And hot. <laughs> And stinky and hey, sweaty. Boy, for the hey, yo, hey, yo, 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 on the proof, man. I'm going to teach you a 10-step strategy, how you can get started in real estate without having money, capital, credit, none of that. You can get started making real money. Uh, so a lot of people have been asking me how they can get paid. A lot of people have been definitely, like, from the podcast, man, I done had over, uh, I think we about a 1,000-plus people now into my actual course, uh, getting crazy results, over 100 grand made already uh, from people, you know, learning how to get started in real estate. Mm -hmm. So you don't need to be a realtor. You can do it from anywhere in the country, and you don't have to leave the house. So it's super dope. I teach uh, the strategy uh, live on every Sunday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and it's a free that the uh, Sunday webinar is free, and then I have a paid course as well. So just so people don't get the confusion with that, but uh, every Sunday I do a, a ten-step free call for people. Ronaproof.com. Yep. Ronaproof.com. Hey, listen, man, we appreciate y'all for tapping in each and every week, making us the number one music podcast in the country. Crazy number one. Uh, number one. I go by the name of Gilly the King. I'm Wallow Two Six Seven. Don't call me White Girl. But we call her White Girl. The Tony the Tackle. Well, he liked that name. Look, yeah, he, 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 he liked finally the tackle, came out. He finally came out. He liked Triple T. <laughs> and he had the dreads. Tony back the Tackler. <laughs> and he had the dreads back then. And for some reason, he looked like he was cross-eyed back then. Nigga took his nigga like this. Nigga you like you cross-eyed all the time. Nigga. You had long hair. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you would have played the shit out of him. Yeah. I don't even hey, yo, like Hey, yo, him. everybody, I'm the Madden guy. No, he ain't. We, we ended I, this I shit right now. Like, I'm gonna get a young down, boy out there man. paying five hundred dollars to beat the shit out of Tony. <laughs> he's trying to get help because I'm gonna beat so the shit out of Gil. Yeah, he's beating the shit out of Gil. <laughs> he he shit. won a couple. He games. don't like that. But fuck all that. It's just like that. Right.